Hello, John and Cindy. Paul McLean here again at Crestview RV in Buda. And this is the way she'll look when you come in and see it here shortly, John. Um, I don't have it exactly in the right spot, but it's close enough. And when you come in, I'll open up both the side patio and the rear patio for us. I just don't have a whole ton of room here where they put it. But this will give you a better look at it, I think, and I'll show you the interior. They did opt out, so that whoever ordered this initially, they just loaded it up. It's got the 8K axles with disc brakes, full body paint, solar package, um, has the slide out toppers. I don't think there was a button they, or a square they didn't check on the order form on this. And it's super lucky and nice that it matches the cut the truck you got ordered. Thank goodness, that's what I was coming to check, make sure it had a generator. Believe it or not, half of the ones we've got coming in lately are without a generator. They're having trouble getting generators. Yours has one, that's huge. So let's go inside. You'll have two 60 ga 230 gallons for 60 gallons total in your garage here for fuel. Gasoline. Two tanks. One's dedicated for your generator, one for your toys, but you can take fuel out of one, put it in the other if you want to use it all for the generator. That's not a problem. The inside of this uh, garage is going to be just as insulated as the interior living room. Grand Design makes sure to do that because half the time that garage is a living room space for most people. So let's go inside. It's got the beautiful sable interior, which I prefer because it's classy. And when I first was going to order my 397, I was going to go freestanding table and chairs. But I actually, now that I think about it, much prefer this. Um, because in the garage, and we'll come back and look at this, is where most people put their office if they're going to do one. So you can either do Costco, whatever here. I mean, Ikea, Costco, whatever. Or what a lot of people do is just convert one of these into a desk so kind of a standing sitting desk real easy to do and i've got videos on how to do that so that's an option let's make sure yep three acs yeah they clicked all the buttons on this one so this is a super lucky find i do believe i don't have the lights on let's go put the lights on because the accent lighting in here is phenomenal they also got the Rockford Fosgate, pardon me, Rockford Fosgate uh, stereo system in it with the subwoofers. This is your battery disconnect right here. If we turn that on, there shall be light. So look at that accent lighting. I don't know if that shows up on the video or not, but that's beautiful. That is sharp. So with that power on, I might be able to put down these beds a little bit. These are the two bar stools that'll go by your uh, dinette. They, yeah, they ordered everything. So you have the steps to, why do we have two sets of steps here? Oh, okay. I think, so one of these is gonna be to your patio when we put that down. The other one looks like it's going to go here. I think they ordered these types of steps, the steps like I came in the front door, to go on there with the grab handle. I'll have to find out. <clears throat> but that's what it looks like. This has the four season door that I suggested you guys order. Already has it. These glass panes are going to slide up and cover the screen if you don't want fresh air. And that way you can have your patio deck down and still be fully insulated in here. 
TV, of course, is a smart TV. That drops down so that you can see it from the patio. You've got a half bath. Do I have lights? I do, which means I probably have uh, awning, awning. You've got four awnings on this camper, believe it or not. Ceiling light. There we go. Bed up and down. Let's see if it's set up to where they're both going to come down or that top one's going to lock. All right, right now it's set up so that top one's going to come down for sleeping. But if I brought it back up and locked it, that top one would stop and it would just be the couches that come down that I'll still be able to show you. So there is your table that's going to go right there on those holes. I'm not going to be able to go all the way down because I've got stuff here, but probably enough to uh, <laughs> probably enough to show you the couch maybe. So these just rotate forward, John. If I have enough room, which I do. So they'll both do that and of course go down lower if I had room. And you've got little cup holders here too. But this too is what can convert into a desk if you want. Otherwise there's plenty of room here for any kind of desk you want to put down and tie down. And that would work fine. I'm going to put this back up I think. So you can see the full garage when you come in. But yeah, three ACs, half bath, awning over the uh, patio. I'll be able to put that out when you come in. I'd put that out now, but I there's all kinds of forklifts and stuff being moved around. I'll do that when you get here. That's the plan, Stan. And I'll do some those two ladders there. One is for the bunks in here, and one is for the loft over my head, which I'll show you. And this isn't shore power, this is just your batteries doing this, being topped off with your solar panel. But because you have the generator, that solar panel is kind of overkill, nice to have, but you have full shore power anywhere, anytime, just by starting that generator. All right, let's look at what we didn't look at here. And like I say, we'll open up this patio portion when you get in. So it's got the newer oven which is full size enough to actually cook something in like a turkey. Four burner range, 30 inch convection, microwave, uh, the residential refrigerator, Samsung, solid surface countertops, fireplace that's a functional space heater that's going to heat darn near this whole unit or you can just put it on just for ambiance, no heat at all. Your second smart TV there. Let's, oh, and a big pantry-like thing here. So no lack of pantry space. And that's for tall people or people with a stool. And here's your Rockford Fosgate controls. And from here you can do you can adjust your inside volume to be different than your outside volume. Porcelain toilet, of course. The shower I love, that great big rectangle with the killer shower head that I'm gonna have to get for myself. Body spray, body wand, and then a rain shower. Separate entrance into your bedroom. It's got the king wide bed. There's our lights. Nice nightstands with 110 and USB on both. Light controls right by the bed there. Storage underneath this bed. Boom chakalaka. And there are your poles, John, for the table that goes in your garage. So a neat little place for that. And then here's your closet space. His and hers. Super solid. 
I love the way Grand Design does things. It's probably finally got a thing I'm proud to sell. Very nice. Very, very nice. This is a set heat sensor or temperature sensor so that you can have a different temperature setting in this, in this room than the other room than in the third room. So that's nice. That's a nice, decent space here. You've got a max fan here that has the rain sensor. Super nice. You can leave that open, not have to worry about it being rain. And that's all right here. Push of a button. Sweet. Okay, you're going to see all this in person here shortly, but I thought I'd give you a quick video so maybe Cindy can see it as well. I hope I have that name right, otherwise I'm an idiot. So yeah, I just, I'm in love with these, so well played. Super, super uh, serendipitous, is that a word? That this became available on the day we were looking, otherwise, like I say, with full body paint, that takes another six weeks under the 10 to the 14, 10 to 14 weeks it would have taken otherwise. So, yeah, <clears throat> we done good. And it was good we put a deposit on it because somebody already has got a backup on it. So, we did good. We made all the right decisions so far. We'll show this to you in person, get both those patios out for you. If it's not too windy, we'll put the awnings out. And let's go camping.